Hi friends, what is dynamics? Someone may define dynamics as the branch of engineering mechanics. But what is engineering mechanics? It's a branch of mechanics of rigid solids. Then what is rigid solids? Rigid solids is a type of solids. And what is solid? Solid is a type of matter. So to define dynamics, we should first start from the defining matter and its classification. So let's define first what is matter. Anything which occupies space possesses volume and offers a resistance to the external force is called as matter. This matter is broadly classified into solids and fluids. Solids are further classified as rigid solids and deformable solids. And fluids are further classified into liquids and gases. So what is rigid solid? and what is deformable solid. To understand these two concepts, let's have two examples. Consider one body resting on a flat fixed surface Suppose this position of the body is 1. If we displace this body from position 1 to position 2 with the help of some force applied on it. Then body is displaced from point 1 to point 2. Consider two points A and B on this body. After this displacement of this body from point 1 to point 2 the relative position of these two points do not change. The body in which the molecules don't have a relative displacement, in this case points A and B, is called as a rigid body. Consider the second example. Consider one beam and consider four points on that beam. C D, E and F. If we apply bending moment on the ends of the beam, the beam will deform like this. And the four points will occupy the position C dash, D dash, E dash, and F dash. In this example, the relative position of these two points C and D and these two points E and F is changing. Here is the compression and here is the tension. In this body, since the relative position of the molecules is changing, we consider this body as deformable body. So how we will define the rigid body? If the relative position of the molecules do not change, then the body is called as rigid body. And how we will define deformable body? If the relative position between the two points will change, then the body is called as deformable body. Now let's see what is mechanics. Mechanics is the branch of science which deals with the forces and energy and their effects on the body.
this mechanics is further classified into three sub categories mechanics of rigid bodies mechanics of deformable body and the last one is mechanics of fluids which is known as fluid mechanics what is mechanics of rigid bodies what is mechanics of deformable bodies in engineering we call this subject as engineering mechanics abbreviated as em this mechanics of deformable body in engineering we called it as strength of materials abbreviated as som and this fluid mechanics is abbreviated as fm so what is engineering mechanics as we defined mechanics as mechanics is the branch of science which deals with the energy and forces and their effects on the bodies so how we will define engineering mechanics engineering mechanics is the branch of science which deals with energy and forces and their effects on the rigid body as the mechanics deals with the subject rigid bodies only so we will define engineering mechanics first so it is the branch of science which deals with energy and forces and their effects on the rigid bodies only this engineering mechanics is further classified as statics and dynamics so what is static and what is dynamic as the name suggest static means stationary so statics is the branch of engineering mechanics in which the body is stationary means the body is at equilibrium so statics is the subject in which we study the body at rest so dynamics is the study of motion of the body or the study of bodies in motion this dynamics now is broadly categorized into two sub categories kinematics and kinetics now we will see what is kinematics and we will see what is kinetics so kinematics and kinetics are the branch of dynamics since dynamics is the study of motion of the body so in kinematics and kinetics in both the subjects we consider the body in motion only so what is the difference then between kinematics and kinetics in kinematics we do not consider the cause of the motion and in kinetics we do consider the cause of the motion cause of the motion means the force the force which is causing the motion in kinematics we do not consider the cause of motion in kinetics we do consider the cause in 
in kinematics we see the relation between position displacement velocity and acceleration and in kinetics we study the relation between force causing the motion and the behavior of the body in motion we also see the relation between mass of the body and the motion of the body this was the introduction of dynamics thank you